Hello, welcome to this podcast that we haven't actually named it. My so, name is Meme Parable, and this is my friend, unnamed Imposter person. Chan. Yeah, Imposter Chan. Don't ask how I got the game. <laughs> to one of the best co- podcasts you'll ever listen to, ever. Um, <laughs> That's I don't know. a little debatable. I don't, I don't know. I, I think it's. I think it's going to be one of those things that like blows up as soon as it hits the internet. Well, it's so gotta be. be Captain Sparkles. Yeah, it'd be like Captain Sparkles' his first video getting like a million views. Yep. Hmm. Well, realize he started with Call of Duty. I know that was pretty epic. Most of the large YouTubers, or at least gamer YouTubers, you see now, they started yeah. off with either Minecraft or Call of Duty, one well, of the two Pew- most popular games. PewDiePie. He uh, he started out playing Call of Duty, uh, Minecraft, and oh, what was it? Mm, or just any horror game. I know, that was pretty amazing. I thought, um, or at least I suspected, that people would be more around the um, RPG scene for a, more of a commentary feel. But a lot of people have yeah. gone for the heavily edited <laughs> sort of funny I'm, moments thing. I'm all for RPGs, but I think watching someone just shoot the heck out of another person is more fun. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot funnier, so it gets a lot more views. People aren't gonna it, unless they're like a cult following. People who are actually gonna sit there and watch someone play an RPG for six hours, you're not gonna get a lot of views. Not at all, yep. unless you already have a following. And even then, you're gonna get significantly less views than you would if you're just going to post a funny moments, a heavily edited um, sort of funny moments. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. But uh, what games have you been playing lately, Mean Parable? I have been playing Dragon Age Inquisition, a whole lot of this mod pack called Natural Magic, and Oblivion recently, Ooh. actually. <laughs> Oblivion, I love that game. I do love that game. The Elder Scrolls series is one of my favorite. However, Dragon Age is starting to come a little bit closer. Mm. Did you did you see the video that the completionist made on... Uh, on oh what was it Skyrim no I didn't what was that one he completely completed it and really? hated every minute of it really yeah the entire game the entire game 100% holy crap they said it would take like four years and I suppose that's about four years that is him- incredible mhm well this is coming from the guy that beat Hyrule Warriors in two weeks flat I uh, would it would it make you angry if I didn't actually know what that game was? No, it's a new one. It came out for the Wii U. Um, it's a if you've ever heard of Dynasty Warriors. Yes, I have. It's a Zelda skin Dynasty Warriors. All right, that's kind of weird. It's pretty great, actually. I was rec- um I was playing Dragon Age and I found in the, in like the way beginner area where where we you would first go. I yeah. found a dragon. Dragon! Insta killed me. I was so angry <laughs> because I hadn't saved in forever. The autosave was there, but I'm like, I don't want to use that because I'm right next to a dragon ling and I couldn't really get away. Oh. Anyway, that sucked. And in Dragon Age Inquisition, there are these, there's the rifts that need to be closed. And, oh, God, there's this level 12 one that I just can't for the life of me close it's difficult there's only one difficult. thing I can say to that get good scrub <laughs> ha 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 very funny okay it takes so yeah. long to level up level up in that game because you have to fight things and the things you, that you need to fight are all you way have to higher fight things. yes you have to fight things who would have thought anyway, um, yeah it's a fun game I can definitely get into it give it a, like 9 out of 10 it's really good Although I was expecting more with the the conversation, it's, it feels a little bit less intimate than the previous games. However, I have never touched a Dragon Age game, so I wouldn't know what you're talking about. I still can't believe that you've never touched a Dragon Age game. It's they're they're amazing game. I uh, I was raised on Nintendo and Nintendo alone, so Nintendo's cool, but I'm not really kind of a a fanboy of Nintendo. I I love PlayStation and Sony. Sony is awesome. I wasn't allowed to touch a PlayStation. Really? Ah. Uh, 
I, I remember, actually, I think my first console was a, a Nintendo console. It was the Nintendo, well, yeah, it, it was the Nintendo. The first console I ever touched was the Nintendo. I played a lot of Duck Hunt. There was a Nintendo 64 or whatever that one was. I played a lot of Duck Hunt, uh, some Mario games. Never really any Zelda games. I played um, a lot of Zelda games on the GameCube, a lot of updated Zelda games uh, ported mm-hmm. over to the PC. Like uh, Master Quest? Yeah, I like Master Quest, but nothing really majorly way classic. I am the opposite. I haven't played a new thing in a while. Um, the newest thing I played was Broforce, and that came out this uh, last year. Broforce is awesome. It's so easy to lose track of yourself in that game. Play for yeah, hours. that's the one of the major beefs I have with the game. Mm. Um, it's still in open beta. Well, kind of open beta with a paywall. Um, one thing, you lose track of your character. Two, you get major FPS drops when there's too many explosions. Yeah, especially if you have a lower end computer like I used to have and now have like this super beast computer that can handle anything, everything. Yes, I am bragging at the moment. Um, you make me jealous. You're welcome to come and use my computer anytime. I plan to. Yeah, just like unplug my <laughs> computer, bring it to your house. <laughs> I'm using it. I'll bring it back in four years. <laughs> when it's completely outdated. That's right. As soon as you walk out of the store, your stuff's outdated. It's ridiculous. The mm-hmm. the technology industry has been just advancement, advancement, advancement. And with NVIDIA coming out with their new video card, that's like 24 gigs of RAM on one card. It's just amazing. Uh-huh. Beefy. Just wait. Uh, someone's going to come up. Like Intel's going to come up with a 40 gigabyte. I know it's ridi- uh, well. Intel cards aren't really that great. They're more of a processor company. That's uh, why. They're, I was yeah, their their new processors like the Xeon or something. And there's two of them instead of one. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. Because they can't stack can processors like AMD can. Mm-hmm. Man, I do need a better computer though. <laughs> Look, uh, w- once we get rich off of YouTube's, the YouTube's monies, <laughs> that then we can buy new new computers. And don't worry, you're coming first in this. In this, first thing I'm getting, Origin PC. Origin PC? What's that? Origin? Have well, you I know never... what Origin is. It's an EA um, thing. No, uh, different, different. It's a different like third-party computer, and it's like there's this one YouTuber called uh, Branded JLA. Mm-hmm. He swears by those PCs, and I really trust his advice on it. Same with Sam and Nico from Corridor Digital. You know who the Yogs cast is, right? Most definitely. Well, yeah, they they use, what, uh, the Chill Blast computers? They, they're they sponsored by them now? Chill Blast what? seems pretty cool. Hmm. How do I tame Yetis? This is weird. Okay, never mind. Okay. Uh, you... I, oh God, there's this super cool mod for uh, Oblivion that made it look like Skyrim. It was amazing. Are you serious? Yeah, it's amazing. And then there's another mod for Skyrim that uh, essentially takes the story from Oblivion and puts it into Skyrim. It's wow. They're recreating Oblivion in Skyrim. So it's kind of like the Skywind expansion for Marlin? Yeah, like that. It's exactly like that. That expansion was great. Absolutely a phenomenal. Speaking of Skywind, I played Morrowind yesterday. You're welcome. Yeah, I know. That's uh, I, I didn't play it all the way through because it's one of those games you're going to have to sit there and play for a few weeks because it's it's a really few long. Weeks? Huh? A few weeks? Yeah, a few weeks. game's so big I couldn't beat it in a year. Really? I've got well, a lot of time on my hands. I've got a lot of time on my hands. I can, I can afford, well, not really afford because I don't pay for anything. I can <laughs> allow you're... myself to sit there for 15 hours and play a game all day. Dude, I so wish I could do that. Yeah. Well, seriously. I, I like my life. My life is pretty awesome. Well, I don't like it so much that I want your life, but... Oh, that would be weird. Mm-hmm. In the words of Kanye, I'm dope and I do dope stuff. <laughs> uh, don't bring pop culture into this, please. Pop culture is... Okay, fine, I won't. Um, oh, I found <laughs> a weird obelisk. That's weird. Okay. Um, Minecraft. Minecraft and Microsoft. I can't believe this. Mojang was bought out by Minecraft. 
I can, no way. I can Crap. See it. I said that wrong. Microsoft bought <laughs> Mojang. I, uh, when I realized that they wanted to buy it, I pretty much just called them on, okay, so they're most definitely going to be bought out once Notch leaves. Yes, and Notch left pretty... I wasn't expecting him to leave so abruptly. So I, I was thinking they were going to, like, announce, you've got nine months until Notch leaves or something, and mm -hmm. have, like, a timer or something. I don't know. I just didn't expect it to happen so quickly. Um... Also, another thing about Microsoft is Microsoft has this weird uh, user agreement w when you install games where you can't actually upload the videos to YouTube and earn money off of it. So it ends up... Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to apply that to Minecraft since it is a technically a different company. It's just being bought by another company. It, it, it's still technically its uh, own company. I really hope they don't ruin it for everyone. Yeah. Well, okay, so... Minecraft has become way too dependent on YouTube, or YouTube well, has become way too dependent on Minecraft. It's kind of it's kind of like a job, or well, it is a job, really. It's kind of mm -hmm. like a starter job. You're not gonna flip burgers for the rest of your life, but you're gonna play Minecraft on YouTube for a while to get yourself started. Well, I mean, Captain Sparkle still plays Mineplex and such, and yeah, he he's a professional burger flipper. Yeah, once once they. Once it starts to get monetized, which I'm pretty sure is it's going to happen eventually. What, if there will Minecraft, be monetization. Uh, if uh, Microsoft monetizes it? Yeah. Oh, it might happen. I'm not sure. They're going to destroy a pretty large community doing that. Who cares? They're, my, they're sure Microsoft. If they, if they want the hate. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see because that's quite a... I blame thing. you, Bill Gates. I blame, I blame Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. They're they're in it together. Yep. Bill Gates is already back from dead. the dead. <laughs> seriously, seriously uh, frame rate for to unlimited. Sorry. Max frame limit unlimited. What is that? I'm looking at your video settings. You you showed up on showing your screen. Oh okay yeah, <laughs> I put it on unlimited because uh, when I make videos, it's easier to have the frame rate above what I'm recording at. I don't know, it just oh. makes the video look a little bit better. Alright, I'll take your word for it. You're better at this than I. Well, there are plenty of people better than me. I could, no I could pretty much a list. Well, actually, I couldn't. There's too many of them. Hmm. I'm in the wrong direction. Oh, well. okay. I'd love to see you try, but it would take too much time. Yeah, it would take a long time. Gosh. But, I was um, planning on um, doing hmm. a 100 subscriber special, but then I realized I only have 100 subscribers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That happened. Mm. Hey, 100 subscribers. Woo. It's a milestone. It really is. I'm so excited. The stone mile. There's there's so much more to do. Like I haven't been posting videos lately because I'm like, oh my god, is this really going to happen? Oh. <sighs> it's difficult. You're so euphoric. Yeah. It... Euphoria this... of it all. I'm gonna take it a step a step further with uh, being a small a small YouTuber. I'm not a small YouTuber. I'm a microscopic YouTuber. There are three tiers on YouTube. There's the microscopic, there's the small, and then there's the big. Because you don't find people. Uh, there's no middle ground. The, you know, medium. There's no medium with this at all. Mm -hmm. There's small, microscopic, and then there's huge. Once you get popular, you get popular fast. Mm -hmm. Look at um, Vsauce. Vsauce was there for a little while. You know, it had its popularity, like 250,000 subscribers. Yep. And then, boom, it had like a million. Um, overnight, almost. It, it didn't All take All the long. Facebook shares, man. All the Facebook shares. People yeah. shared the videos that they thought were interesting, and then suddenly, so often. boom. It's like what happened to Game Theory. Game Theory, oh my god. They weren't even made that long ago. It was, what, like two years ago that they yep. started? Or he started? Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's, Markiplier it's only started four years ago. I know, Markiplier, he didn't... He started making videos, and he had a few thousand, hundred thousand or so for my like two hero. years. And then he suddenly blew up. <laughs> that guy's my hero. He's great. He's awesome. I love Markiplier. Markiplier's awesome. I watched... I um sending him a message asking for some advice on how to beef up my channel. Because, <laughs> you know, my channel's kind of non-existent. Yeah. Yeah. How do I beef it, up this non-existent thing? 
Easy. Monetization. Yeah, yeah monetization is pretty <laughs> cool. I love monetization uh, because it allows the user, without you know obstructing other people's view to it, the the uploader, it allows the uploader to gain something off of having fun. Even mm -hmm. if they're not having fun, I still think monetization is pretty cool. Yep. But, um... So... Any games other than Dragon Age and Minecraft that you've been playing? Um... Let's see here. Nope. That's the only one I pre-ordered. No? Hmm. Yeah. I, I'm planning on getting a Little Big Planet 3. Oh. That Seriously? That pretty good. Yeah. It got that me game... Sack Boys. <laughs> Them Sack Boys. Yeah. I remember playing the second one forever ago. Man, yeah. some people still play that. I love the second one. The second one was pretty good, but I'm I'm still in love, in love, literally, with the first one. The first one was so good. Hmm. I could go on for hours about that game. Hmm. Well, I never got the, a chance to play this the first one. Well, the first one's pretty unique because it allows you... Okay, let me restart that. The first one is unique because it allows you to organize things differently than any other sandbox I've ever seen. Uh, the three-layer system, you know how it works, uh, placing objects, that's pretty cool and all. Yep. But the technology that they allow you to use, the imaginary technology that makes things spin, that, that makes things move, it's pretty cool because you can create any animatronic thing without actually creating an animatronic thing. So, not Gmod? No, not Gmod. Gmod's pretty cool. I, I love Gmod too. They're pretty Gmod, similar games. Uh, if it, if it were in a 3D environment like that, it would pretty much be the same thing. I got some issues with Gmod. It's it feels limited, very it's, limited. It is because you have to know a lot before using it, and people don't want to know a lot. They don't want to learn too much before having to actually make something. And that's why Little Big Planet's cool because you don't have to learn anything before making it. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I went on to Sandbox in Gmod the other day, and I was like, okay, so how the heck do I even do this? I learned how to weld. I learned that, hey, you can hit a thruster, and it will blow up. Yep, but, that happened to me quite a bit. But, oh. no, it seems like there's such a, a steep learning curve that it's not even worth getting into. Sometimes I feel that way about a lot of games, because, um... Let's see here. What's a big learning curve? Let's say Minecraft Classic to Skyrim. <laughs> uh, uh, which that, one do you think is easier? Uh, Skyrim. <laughs> exactly. Because mm. I, I'm a natural RPG freak. I play RPGs. I love yep. RPGs. RPGs are my life. I've played a lot of RPGs. <laughs> yep, same here. But... Minecraft is just such a large change from RPG. I'm like, okay, where are the monsters? Where's the dungeon? I don't understand. What's the quest? What do you do? And the first time I played Minecraft, I put it away. I didn't want to ever play it again. But <laughs> after a few weeks of not playing it, I'm like, hmm, you know what? I could go build a castle in Minecraft. I could make my own quest in Minecraft. I finally figured out the quest line of Minecraft. Choose your adventure. Essentially, yeah, it is choose your own. No, it's make your own adventure. It's amazing. Mm hmm. It's kind of like that new game, uh, Project. You're talking about the one Art. on the Xbox, right? Yeah. Project oh, yeah, Art. the. Yeah, yeah, that's. That seems cool. Except I don't have an Xbox. Touche. What do you think of the X Bone? What is your thoughts? Um, I think that it's a RAM box. That. It has its uses, but PlayStation 4 is clearly in the head. Mm -hmm. Just judging by sales and general views, you're going to find out that PlayStation 4 is ahead. I'm climbing hmm. the mountain for no reason. But I think the Xbox is cool. I'll play it. Um, I do think that it's a bit creepy that the eye, just generally oh. the eye or whatever, Looks the connect or whatever they had, it's weird. I don't like it. Very uh, privacy infringing. Mm. And generally, Microsoft's view towards YouTube is a little bit <laughs> yeah daunting. 
I know and I mean. love Sony because it's so free. Even their operating system is open source. Mm -hmm. And you're allowed to record on your PS4 for free, upload it to YouTube from your PS4, and have an editing program on your PS4. It's more than anyone would really need to start a YouTube channel. They have well, fueled the indie industry for a long time. They may have fueled the indie industry, but honestly, all I really need is like, as I said, I'm a, I'm a Nintendo fanboy through and through, and I grew up with it, and I learned people were upset because the Wii U is not more than just a game console. Yeah, it's just a I game. Mean, PS4 is just Netflix. a game console. That's uh, what it can do. It can play Netflix, Microsoft. and it can play games. Yeah, Xbox One is a game console. If you really wanted more than a game console, get a PC. Mm-hmm. PC, PC Master, Race. Master Race. That's what I thought, yep. Mm-hmm. Master Race. Yeah, PCs are awesome. PC is probably one of... No, the best. The best console that you're ever well, going to get. Because it's it could console, be the best, it's, or it could be the worst. It could be, because it really all depends on your specs. I mean, I have a crappy computer. I okay. really do. You can upgrade your computer with, to a, more than a console with just the same amount of money as a console. You're not going to buy it straight out for the same, uh, same amount as a console, because it's more than a console. Mm -hmm. uh, say you had 400 bucks. I could buy a pretty good graphics card and some RAM. Probably not a processor. If you were going to get a processor, you might as well spend $400 on it. Because, you know what? If you're getting a new processor, make it a good one. Because you're going to be using that puppy for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I sent you a message on, on the... Uh Skype message trap, but um, I can't read it. I'm in full screen. Touche, touche, touche. But um, like I said, I I'm, I'm more of a necessity type person. Mm -hmm. If I really needed it, I'll get it. That's right. And I mean, I only just recently, like in a in this last year, got an Xbox 360. So yeah, he's a bit behind the curve at the moment. What can I say? I'm a poor man that loves old games. Poor so. man in a rich man's shoes. If I were a rich man... I just made up that saying right now. I have no idea what it means. Poor man in a rich man's shoes? Yeah. I don't know. That's a really strange one, actually. Okay. People think on that. Comment in the comments about what it means. Comment in the commenting thingy. It. I mean, it's not like it's not like I'm behind the times. It's just I prefer games that had a little more soul and, and more originality. Yeah. Okay. That's completely fair, and I believe that the older games had a lot more into it because you had to really have a passion in order to make mm -hmm. games. I'm Think sure of, you uh, were in a very Eggman. niche group. Mega Man, for example. He came out with his first game and blew up because it was a type of platforming that ha had been done before, but not to the extent that... Yeah, worked. they spent a lot of time programming that, each pixel by pixel by pixel. Mm -hmm. And they kept going, oh, you like that one? Let's go to Mega Man 2. And that had yeah. that is the most famous Mega Man game of all time. I'm not sure people really realize how difficult it is to make a game, or at least how difficult it was. Uh, it was extremely difficult to make a game, it, say in the 1980s, 1990s, because you had to program it by hand, zeros, ones, no wait, C++ was out by then, so you had to program it manually without any um, programs helping you along, like 3D modelers and you know Unity or any other game making program like Torque you had to make it by hand now anyone can make a game without having any programming knowledge at all you could make a game it's very be easy be an indie developer huh be an indie developer get money yeah you from could totally be one an indie developer you just need good art and a lot of the time you don't even need good art you could go pixel by pixel and say hmm i can make this look like a watermelon person and then it would be a watermelon person Mm -hmm. oh, I love games. Games are my passion. So, 
I hear you've been using Unity. Yes. Um, how good of a platform is it for making games? Well, it's difficult and it's simple all at the same time because Unity has two versions. There's Unity Free and Unity Pro. Unity Pro has a lot of uh, cool features that Unity Free does not. Uh, for example, a glitch in culling. That makes it where only what the player sees is rendered, which makes the game run so much faster. I mm -hmm. have to have an improvised version of that because I cannot uh, afford to, you know, buy Unity Pro or license poor. for Poor! You're poor! Essentially, yeah, I'm poor. I'm a, I'm a poor man in a, with rich man's eyes. <laughs> Made that one up. That one's better. I like that one better. That one makes more sense. Okay, yeah. um... Anyway, I can't really afford to do that, but Unity makes it where I can still, you know, make a game for free, have all the textures, and there's all sorts of royalty-free uh, models and pictures and textures yep. online. Uh, but what really makes Unity complicated is that you can't really have a lot of objects in one area without lagging. So you have to make it all out of um, what we call quads. And quads are little textures, little planes, that uh, make up pretty much any square model. There are also vertices. Vertices account for anything round or sort of an oblique shape or any other thing like that. Mm. Vertices are cool. They're even in quads. That's what make a quad. Mm. Okay, I'm getting a little bit passionate here, uh, rambling <laughs> a little bit. But Unity is yeah. cool. It's difficult, yet it's so easy. You're going to have to experience it for yourself to determine for yourself whether or not it's one of those two. Hmm. Um, on a different note, just segue segueing along here, um, I know you've just started YouTube just yes. recently, mm -hmm. and you've been putting up videos, and you've got some subscribers now. What do you want to say to people who have not started their channels yet but want to? Like, um, maybe I'm, someone I'm like still, me. I'm still in the microscopic stage, but all I have to say is keep making content and don't make it crappy. Put as much work as you can into that video. That way it gets out there and people watch it and they want to watch more. Because honestly, if you have a boring video where you're not saying anything and it's mm -hmm. just a Call of Duty video, people don't watch <laughs> gaming videos for the games anymore. They watch it for the commentary. The commentary has to be good for a person to, to actually funny. watch the video. A lot of the times you don't have to be funny, you just have to be entertaining. Uh, keep their attention long enough for them to watch at least half the video mm -hmm. and you're good. If they watch half the video, uh, they're more likely to share it than anyone else. Now the question is, are we entertaining? Well, uh, that's for them to decide. I think huh. I think we are. I think we're pretty awesome. We're pretty, pretty awesome. We That's have, all I have to say. We have swag. Yeah, we, we got the swags. I got 41 swags. <laughs> oh my gosh. You remember that meme. I know you remember that I meme. I do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I love Meme Center. Meme Center is too cool. Too cool for school. Hey, they're not sponsoring us. Don't talk about them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, the, <laughs> the Center meme. Yeah, it's from Center meme. <laughs> um, but... Uh, what was I gonna say? I, I just lost my train of thought. But um, pretty much, I I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for a while, and I'm I I finally, this guy here has been convincing me to do it. I think he has an absolute passion. I think you have the passion to do it. I think you will be successful. Power. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. But, um, I believe I can make a YouTube channel. That and be funny. I think I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> okay, but, um, anyway. Oh. I think you can do it. I think that you'll be successful. As long as you keep at it, keep making good ton con bleh, make content. good content, and just keep improving, keep self-criticizing yourself to the point where you make incredible videos. All right. Well, um... I think that's going to be the end. I that was a pretty good yeah. conversation. Well, this has been Imposter been... Chan and Meme Parable. Yeah, with the best podcast ever that we haven't actually named yet. Bye.